bringing you face to face with men and women who are successfully making their dreams a reality, sharing their story with you that no dream gets left behind. My name is Carvin Hagens. I'm a songwriter, producer, and um, I think I first realized my dream. Uh, I may have been about 11 years old, and um, well, actually, I was younger than that. It might have been about eight or nine. And we used to live in this place called Fred Wessel in Savannah, Georgia. It was like a projects. And um, in this place, my cousin Carl, he, his house, they, the way the apartments were set up, it was like uh, the porch and then a, another apartment downstairs, which had a porch. But Carl's porch overlooked the um, playground. So his mom would be at work. We'd get off of school. And then we would go out, put this big radio out there, and we would sing songs like My Cool and the Gang and um, Mars Day and the Time, Prince. And we would sing these songs. It was six of us. And we would be out there doing the whole Mars Day steps and all of that. And all of the kids used to watch us uh, perform. So every day it was like, yo, we're going to be out there tomorrow. Make sure we had our Stacey Adams doing the bird walk and all this other stuff. So uh, I think that was the uh, the first taste of I, I want to I wanna be in this business. Um, yeah. Being a songwriter and a producer, one of the obstacles, well, two of the obstacles that got in my way is I can't sing, well, it's three. I can't sing, I don't play any instruments, and I'm tone deaf. So those three obstacles got in my way as a producer because trying to explain to somebody what you hear and can't play it is almost being like deaf, dumb, and blind all at the same time trying to create something. So um, the obstacles were people were shooting down my ideas before they actually understood them or understood where I was going. So what I did was I just figured out how to, how, let me make the beat myself. Let me, let me program it myself. Matter of fact, I'm gonna write the song myself and then I'll figure out, I'll find somebody who can sing it for me. And then once I started doing that, and was able kind of to display what I was able to do and capable of doing, then people started to understand, okay, oh, I feel where you're going. It was still different because I was on the cutting edge of something, trying something totally different that had never been done before. So, again, people will look at you crazy, but, I, I, you know, I accept all of that. Uh, I'm, I'm not a quitter. I don't believe in quitting. I don't believe in starting something and not finishing it. So uh, the reason why I didn't quit was just that. So the more people hated or, or told me I couldn't do it, it was like, you know what, I'm going to prove them wrong. If you think I can't do it, that whatever you tell me I can't do, then I'm going to push beyond my limits and, and pull in whatever strength, ears, ideas, or whatever I can pull in to get it done because I just refuse to let anything beat me. So uh, for those who are striving um, for better, those who are trying to live a dream, those who are um, trying to make their imagination reality, what I say is um, don't give up on what you believe in. Stay focused, fight for it, believe in it. There's going to be backbiting. There's going to be a uh, bad conversation about you. There's going to be adversities. You're going to run into brick walls. But he, he, one great thing I've learned is that failure is the road to success. If you take failure and, and every time you fail, you evaluate what you did and how you did it, and you'll see where failure took place, then the next time you try to execute it, just avoid that pit hole, that pitfall. So the idea of it is failure is going to lead you to success as long as you continue. Think about how many times the Wright brothers had to fall off the roof on that bike before they took off. Figure out how many times Ford tried to get that motor running in the car, and they pushed it out there and it stopped. You got to think about all of these things that, that we have right now, how many times it had to fail in order for it to succeed. So don't take failure as the time to quit. Take it as the time to continue. I believe that determination supersedes talent any day. So stay determined, stay focused. God gave you a vision, he gave you an idea, he gave you a dream. So all you have to do is continue to focus on that, that dream, because no dreams are left behind. I had a dream that one day I'd be standing on the stage, singing all the songs I made. Oh, yeah. But some people didn't agree and asked me to give up on me. It wasn't their vision, so they couldn't.
see, but I believe. 